I was going to say Pelham Blue, but that is wrong. That is the Daphne Blue. Those colors. Like, only an idiot would even wear colors. You get the point. Um, I have just reviewed the SC550, their staple single cut, two, which uh, is now, it's tough to say why, but it's just, you know, stainless steel and all that stuff, but it's now just a step better. And immediately after, bam, they hammer out the... SC Deluxe, which is a bit different. It's got the, not the traditional control. It's got the threes, so it's a uh, volume, volume tone. And, um, and the binding, it's like a custom, I guess. So that's the SC, is it SC Custom Deluxe or SC Deluxe? I don't know. But it's the Goto version. And what's different? Well, it's got Goto on it. And you would think, how much of a difference can that make between OEM hardware, we're just talking bridge and tuners, and go-to hardware? Well, price-wise, almost nothing. Performance-wise, I don't know how much I hear the bridge. I just know the guitar sounds extremely good. But even though the standard Hardy Benton tuners are very good, there is a step up from this. So let's read some specs together, because I know you people can't read. It's the Deluxe Series. It's a Nayato body with weight relief. So it's got holes in it. And it's it's got a weight. I could measure that for you, but I won't. Um, with a uh, carved top. Carved in the sense that it's, you know, got a, it, it's a carved top. Um, rosewood fretboard. Trapeze inlays. You can see. Seven layer binding. That is a little bit more tough to see, but here you go. Seven layer binding. Then we have a 628 millimeter, this thing, 
Uh, it's a modern C shape. What does it mean? Uh, well, C here. Huh? That's what that looks like. It's it's very comfortable. That's what like, and it's it's not a fat neck, but it's also not a Ibanez Wizard kind of a thing. We have a Graftech Tusk Nut. That's killer. Uh, and it is, yes, shaped much better than usual. It is also made in Indonesia, so this is not it's not a Chinese guitar. Doesn't necessarily matter where things are made, it depends on the QC and who's looking over it, but we know that the Indonesian factories are good. Definitely Indonesian uh, guitars can go up to, even up to like 2,000 bucks. So at this price point, Indo is good. 22 blacksmith medium jumbo stainless steel frets. Cool. It's got Teslas, Alnico 5, two volume, one tone, three way, Goto 2 Nomadic, double action truss rod, Goto Klusen style. Comes with tens and it's got gold hardware, which is the one thing where I say, really? Really? Daphne blue and then gold. I'm not a fan of gold, unless, I don't know, I think it needs to be on the right guitar. Yeah, I mean, why not? I don't mind it too much on this. Side dots are not centered. I mean, not that, not that it matters, but just letting you know. But they're very, very clearly visible in the binding. So, um, let's get to it. The body feels a little bit rougher. It's not super high glossy kind of shave down. Um, the neck, however, they did a little bit more too. So the neck feels extremely nice. It is painted, but it kind of has a wooden feel. We have a volute or teta de guitarra, the guitar tit right there, which is great. That's what any modern guitar should have. Uh, this part here is angled, so it's not le traditional. I really like that shaping that people are saying it's the based on the aria or something like this. But I really like what Harley Benton is, let's say, you know, inspired by here. Copying, who knows. But that, that this really just is one flowing shape and not like on a traditional Les Paul, which kind of like just hits it straight here and then starts differently here. I, I do prefer the, uh, that kind of body shape because it's, it just, I think it's a more, elegant design. So, uh, this is a satiny kind of feel. Do you want a guitar in Daphne blue? There's also Pelham blue. There is... Pelham blue is a dark blue, kind of neat. There's a black. And there's a shell pink. Why in the world would you want this in shell pink? It's totally up to you. And if you're going to go for it, do it. For example, my buddy Matt from Boss only has pink guitars, so it might work. So point is, it's the good old or the good new deluxe Harley Benton, now with Goto, and it clocks in at a, oh, the shell pink's 299. That's not bad. Maybe because it's pink. Good idea, Harley Benton, make that cheaper. Move those out. Uh, 349, and I can tell you already, Graftech, Goto, Pickups are from Tesla, and you're going to say, ah, oh, I'll just mod them, and I'll just swap out the pickups for some, you know, pearly gates and blah, blah, and all those words that I don't know because I don't give a shit about pickups. I really don't. Whatever they put in, I hope is good. And the thing is, listening to these, I don't think the guitar could make a major jump with pickups. So I, really, trust me on this, or don't. Save your money. Because I don't think the guitar is going to make the jump that you think it will make if you put in pickups that are worth as much as the guitar itself. Here. That amp, it's a good amp. Of course, test it with good amps because you want the thing you're testing to be the weakest part of the chain, so that would reveal any problems. Um, that amp, a little bit of reverb in front of it, through the aux.
very sweet tones. I think it sounds, it really sounds phenomenal. It sounds balanced. It, everything is there. And I know this because it's my fucking job. It will easily tonally beat out guitars. I'm sorry, even up to like 1500 or whatever. And tonally, it is 100% there. Visually, you have to decide. Hardware wise, it's dependable. The frets are, it's been here a couple of weeks now. They're poking out the tiniest bit. I, when I do this, I can feel a little bit of sharpness. I mean, it is 349 euro, people. So it is absolutely unrealistic to expect the most amazing fret job in the world. So if that is something that at some point is going to bother you, having that with a luthier for an hour or two is probably a good idea and then it's still a very affordable guitar. Let's do a little bit of overdrive on there. I've got this thing on the table here. a clear definition between the two different sounds it is super round and sweet and then it's got that mid honk in the back uh we'll move on to the red seven what's that thing called duality 100 on the vintage channel that should give us some nice rock tone <laughs> to the Soldano SLO 100 <laughs> Let's do something more traditional, which is the Morgan MVP 66. That is very uh, JTM ish. <laughs> Marshall Mini Plexi SV28. Morgan 
Robin AC20, which is Voxish. I always do sus when I do Vox stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Marshall JCM 800. <laughs> Again, that's the 6505 plus from PV. <laughs> That's the orange rocker verb 50. People, how picky do we want to be? It's just 349 euro. Frets, yeah, they're not perfect. They're not boutique level 4,000 euro frets. Okay, it, it is 349. Um, yeah, uh, color wise, whatever. If you want to save money, get the shell pink. Black always works. I do think that this color works. It's, it's not ugly. Gold. Look, it's a choice. Maybe they'll come out with nickel at some point. But traditionally, those are more custom-looking Les Pauls have gold hardware. For the money, SC552, absolutely mind-blowing. SC550 and SC Custom Plus with the uh, EMG Retroactive pickups are phenomenal guitars for the same kind of money really phenomenal. The next step would be, I think, SC550 Plus with a nice top, go to hardware and the EMG Retroactives for $399, for $449. And you'd have literally a mind-fucking-blowing guitar. Next step, $449. 550 plus plus. Go to hardware, nickel. 
EMG Retro Actors, which really sounded very, very good. Nice looking top, but not a veneer, a solid top, 400 bucks more. A nice, actually thick maple top. Make that 549. And then you're literally 800 bucks under any other guitar that will have those kind of specs, especially given the solid top. Just an idea there, Harley Ben, not that you listen to me. Why would you? Oh, oh, I gotta say this, wait. No, that is, ah, those paint people. Those paint people don't get their paint booth as clean as it should. Sometimes in Harley Benton's, under the uh, high gloss paint, there's this little kind of speck of dust. And even here, they messed that up. So the frets are, with a lot of imagination, poking out a bit. But not really. It's, it's just, it's not perfection, which we can't expect. But here, we have two tiny little black dots. There's one more there in the paint job. Can you see them? Yes, I can. I'm going to hold the guitar. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the dots. Obviously, this is on mine. Is this going to be on every single one? I don't know. Get the black one because then the, you won't see the dots. Is this something why you would send the guitar back? Is it something you're going to look at every day? I don't know. This is something you have to decide. Whether you, when, If you're a Harley Benton collector, you're going to put it on the wall. You want it to be as clean as possible. Fine. If you're a player, holy crap, does this thing offer a lot. It's for the thumbnail. Just to let you know, I'm going to be here for the thumbnail, guys. Thumbnail done. With minus the dots and the... It's super recommended. I really enjoyed playing this. I've been playing it uh, in videos. I've been playing it in tracks. You've seen it in the last couple of weeks. It's great. Yes, I'm writing them an invoice for this video because these videos are work. I will not say anything good about Harley Benton because A, they're old friends of the channel. B, because they pay me. C, because they've got affiliate links to the guitars, which also make me money. So go and buy this with my affiliate links. No, I know it's hard to imagine nowadays that there are people who will do what's best for their friends, i.e. you guys, and not for their bank account. Look, if I was starving, I might want to lie to you because that's just nature. I'm not. I'm doing okay. Therefore, whether I make a couple bucks more on Harley Benton or on used buying this or whatever or not, is not enough of a reason for me to jeopardize your trust. And that's all I can say. Either you believe this or not. Some people are saying, oh, it's a sponsored video. I, I immediately turned it off. Or you might have learned something. You might have missed something or whatever. I can't convince you that I'm honest. Anyone who knows me knows I am. Links below. Animals at the end. Father, have I 